What's up? It's Bucket Nasty up in the ballroom. You know what I'm saying? How about you sign it up in the It's Hot 937, Hot937.com, Buck Nance, Money Mike, your hot morning crew. Enough with the tight jeans joke. Enough. And yeah, they're going in. Take no more of that right there. They're going in, and of course, you know, at 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock, we have Guilty Pleasures coming up, so yeah. get your requests in now. And nice. right now, I know you all heard about it, Um, the boxing match over the weekend. We got New Haven Zone, bad Chad Dawson in the studio with us right now. Chad, what up, man? What's going on, man? Thanks for coming by. You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm I'm relaxing. They're waiting for the controversial decision. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. About you got that mean thing. mug on too, Chad. You're looking He's all not happy with that. He's not a happy man right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't be. I mean, if I was a fan, I wouldn't be happy too. So I mean, imagine how I feel not being able to perform that night, not being able to do what I came up there to do, which was to show everybody that, but not have to with a 46-year-old man. <gasps> and he didn't deserve. I mean, I mean, it's it's. The change of the change of the guard. You know what I mean, it's, it's always a new champion coming up. And we got you know, Chad Dawson. Um, how hard did you train for this fight? Cause you've been wanting to fight him for a, a while now, right? Yeah, about three, three or four years. I mean, I mean, I've been wanting to fight. He act like he didn't know who I was. I, I didn't deserve a shot against him. But then when I lost to Pascal, he immediately wanted to fight Pascal. Really? You know, he got the two fights with Pascal. I stepped aside for him to get the rematch with Pascal. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, when I did that, they told him that he had to. If, they were given the rematch, but he had to fight me. So he was forced into the fight with me. It wasn't like he he didn't pick me. I wasn't the chosen fighter for. He did not want to fight at all. He didn't want to fight me. I saw it the moment we got into the ring that night. He didn't want to fight. He was an old man, and he was going to show that night. Wow. So Chad, what is, what's the controversy right now? Like, where is it standing right now? Are you waiting for? Is there? A, did they appeal the decision or? Uh, as far as I know, there's, 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 there's been no appeal yet. So. You want a champ? You got a champ. I'm still a champ. As, as we speak right now, I'm the champion. So. That was amazing. You said you said something a little while ago off the air. As soon as he as soon as he hit the ground, you knew he wasn't getting up. Yeah, because he's done he's done it before. It's not the first time. That's why I understand. Like if, if they know they know that this guy's known for for pulling stunts like that. Why would you? He's used mean? the shoulder uh, excuse before. Yeah, he's used he used it before. He, he's used he's used all, all types of all types of excuses. But at the end of the day, you know, people the people saw it. You know, he, I know he got his fans. You know, I got my fans. Of course, my fans are gonna have my back and his fans are gonna have right, his back. But right. at the end of the you gotta look deep down. You gotta, you gotta say, look, man, this, this guy's an actor. He, he acted the whole, the whole thing was just, a, it was just a show, it was a comedy show. Now you've been boxing for a long time. What is, yeah. what is that? And, and the fight a couple weeks ago, um, say for box, boxing fans, what is it? It leaves a bad taste in the fans' mouths. Like, yeah, yeah, what's I mean, going on in boxing world? I don't know what's going on in the bottom world, but that's a, that was an old man just trying to hold on to something. That, <laughs> that hold, I mean, it was time to let it go. Time to let it go. I mean, he's just an old man trying to hold on to something that I don't know what it is about the sport, but I mean, 47 years old, it's time to lead the game. Time to go. I mean, so when you pushed lead. him, when you pushed him, did you feel that you pushed him hard enough I for him to push fall? Him. I, I didn't push him. You didn't push him. This guy was on my back. In order for me to get him off my back, I had to rise up. I had to come up. <laughs> right, right. When I came up, when, when I came up, all I did was a little, I just. Like touched him in the stomach with my shoulder. Right. Oh, like he took, well, he took off like you did, hit him. Did you see? Did you see that? I see that. He, like you're strong. Yeah. I, but I was, you I, pushed him off like you was the incredible Hulk. I was. I was. I was so much stronger than he was, and he felt it. He understood that. He saw that. I mean, mm -hmm. if you if you watch the fight, you you see the size difference. Right. You can just see it was just a total. I mean, it looked like. Do you think it was a mismatch from the beginning? Like, did you yeah, really? It, it, it would have been a rematch three years ago when I wanted to fight. Right. Right. I mean, right. maybe he would have had a better chance three years ago. As opposed would to have been a little been. younger. I mean, he'd have been three years younger. I would have been younger. It's not as mature as I am right now. So I mean, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep stressing this, and I'm gonna keep saying this. Look, Forty-seven years old is too old for body. To be in there. You were old. You that's that's that's, that's a great grandfather. In <laughs> 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 old, so Do you think that there should be rules about that? About how when you can? Look, should there look, be an age limit of when you can fight? I'm not saying there should be an age limit. If you want to fight, you, you, you should continue to fight, but. At the same time, it's always, I'm going to keep stressing, it's always a new legend coming up. It's always mm -hmm. a young, it's always, it's a younger fighter behind me that's coming up in two, three years from now. It's going to be a new dude, a new young guy who's coming up. destined to be great. And it, this is my time, and you know, I took that away from me that night. But it's still my time because everything happens for a reason. You know, Bernard found a way. I'm able to just guy away saying, you know, don't, I mean, this, we don't want to see this old man get hurt like this. Right. You know what I mean? 
He took the yeah. dive or he whatever. Took the dive. Yeah, and and he said that he had a dislocated shoulder. Did yeah. anybody really verify that? Because my brother's no, had no, a dislocated nobody, shoulder. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody and you're screaming they, in pain. They're saying they're saying that they had the MRI. They, they, that's what they're saying. But I want to see the MRI. <laughs> and it I has wanna, to be dated. I want to um, see. I want to see current everything. MRI. I want to see. I want to see the MRI. I want to be there when you do the next MRI. I want to be in the room. Now you studied his tape. You studied him. What was, your, to, what was your plan for him that night? If that didn't happen, what was your plan? How far was the fight going to go, Chad? Another two rounds. Another two rounds. And you're going to knock him out? Let me explain something. We that got bad Chad. That was a 47-year-old man. 47. He was running. Did you see them deer legs on him that night? <laughs> <laughs> did you see them deer legs on him that night? Chad! <laughs> did, did you not once, <laughs> but did you not once see this man stand there and try to fight? No. Not at all. I was, I was being the aggressor. I was chasing him around the ring. He's 47. Those legs were going to give out at any moment. He couldn't keep. He couldn't keep up that pace for another two rounds. Another two rounds, I'd have been all over him. And he knows right. that. And he really would have gotten he, hurt. He really would. I'm telling you, I went in that ring that night with one mission. My only mission was to knock Bernard Hopkins out. Don't you know you're not supposed to beat up your elders? <laughs> hey. <laughs> he got in the ring. He got in the ring. That's the job. He got in the ring. That's the job. He's a grown ass man. But at, and another thing, say the fight did go, and I did really hurt this man, and I knocked him out. The critics still wouldn't give me no credit for that. The critics still beat up, you still beat up an old man. You still yeah. beat up a forty-seven-year-old, but not happy. How do you take the critics? Yeah, how do you do that? How, how do you roll with the critics? Because they're gonna say that it was your fault exactly. that you knocked them down. I mean, people know the truth. No, I mean they can pay what they want to say what they want. You know, everybody knows. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna get all into that. But at the end of the day, we gotta do what's right for boxing. You gotta do what's right for the sport. And, and, and if they take the title away from me. Or caught a fight of no contest. I think I think that's that's bad for boxing. Would you fight him again? <clears throat> no, I would not. There's no reason. There's no reason. Mm -hmm. That man was gonna get hurt that night. I'm telling you, he was gonna get hurt. He knew it and he took the dive. Who do you want to fight now? Pascal. I want my rematch with Pascal. You want the rematch to get that back? Yeah, I want to get. I want. I want to get the rematch with Pascal. After that, you know, Tavares Cloud, whoever you know. I know Tavares Cloud's been talking for a long time, but who has he fought? He, he's fought nobody. He's beaten nobody. So I mean. But like I said, it's always a young line coming up. So yeah. there's somebody right now eating a bowl of cereal right now. Yeah, exactly. Listen to looking, me. looking, looking at you, yeah. saying, "I'm going to get this guy." Exactly. So and that I, was and you. Was, that, that was you me looking at Bernard. You know, I mean, I was, I got calls from people who I knew a while ago before the fight, text messages. I remember you always said you was going to be the first person to beat Bernard Hopkins, and that was my night that night, and it got taken away from me. I still got the titles. I'm still the champion. He made it easy. In the end of the day, a win is a win. You know what I mean? And you got paid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the, if the check cleared, you're good. You're good with that. You're up in New Haven. That's good, though, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you're still doing it. You're doing it big, and I look forward yeah. to your next fight. And that wasn't fair. The cat should have got up. He should have made it a fight. He should have yeah, He didn't even he attempt. Did he didn't that, even man. attempt to he try to did fight. That, he didn't man. even try. He didn't even try. Yeah, people pay for it at home. You had all the local bars packed. Mm -hmm. People over families' yeah. houses packed in because yeah. no we ain't. Gonna, I, I, you felt, know, I, I felt bad for, for you know my, my, my people in CT, in CT Connecticut, right. New Haven, everybody who who were, who were having fight parties and you know all the all the bars and clubs who you know what I mean who put the TV the fight on and I mean I was I was really upset man I, I mean I was I was really I was really really upset man like people they looked they, like you can see the frustration in the ring but I mean you don't know what it's like to train so hard for that fight and then. But to go out the window the way it did. You know What's I mean? the first thing that came to your mind when he fell, when he didn't get up? That you knew he was going to catch backlash? What's the first thing that you thought of? The same thing the ref thought of. No contest. I'm not, not no contest. A, a technical knockout. Technical knockout. I mean, that's what it is. You, If you're unable, there was no foul. The ref said it was no foul. Nope. If you're unable to go on, the ref warned him. He kept telling him, if you don't get up, I'm going to have to stop the fight. <laughs> the ref told him, and the ref kept saying it to him, and Paul Bernard kept saying, well, I can't fight. I can't fight my shoulder, my shoulder. When yeah, your shoulder's dislocated, we we don't we, nobody saw a knock. Nobody saw. I mean, I mean, I, I just I'm, I'm just fat. I was just fat, man. I was just. So Chad, what should fans do who feel that they were ripped off if they got the pay per view? Should they like complain? What should they do? What can I mean, what can I, they do? The money that money's already spent. I mean, so <laughs> that money's like, gone. Yeah. <laughs> that money's all gone. I mean. I mean <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, and the, you know, in defense I, of I that, I can tell you that. I can tell you this: if I, if, I mean, I'm not fighting Bernard Hopkins again. There's no money in that fight. Who, who would buy that fight? Right. Who would? I, 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 I would. Who would buy, who would buy any, another Bernard Hopkins fight? 
Who would want to even watch Bernard Hopkins on TV again? Nobody. Now he's set for life. If, is Bernard Hopkins set for life money wise? I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I don't. I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna count his bank. He's done a lot. You know? I don't know what he got, but I mean, he. I, I don't know if he's hurt or not. But I mean, the B forty seven still boxing. You got it. Something gotta be. Something gotta be. Wrong, <laughs> I seen how you roll. I seen him in the car show with the Maybachs. I, I know what you if got. If I was, if I was, if I was forty, and, I don't want to be boxing when I'm forty, man. I'm 30, 35. When I when I turn thirty five, I'm out the game for good, man. I'm twenty nine now. When I'm 30, 35, I'm out. I mean, if There's, you got money, if you got money at that, I mean, if you got money, man, if you got enough money, I don't see no reason for this dude to be boxing. So I don't think I don't think it's as popular like 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 people think it is. So. We got bad Chad Dawson in the studio right now. New Haven Zone um, won the fight this weekend. Um, over Bernardo Hopkins, there he knocked him down. The cat wouldn't get up and fight him. That's Controversy. What I'm he wouldn't get up and fight him at all. Right, right. You know, at all. So how do you stay in shape? How do you like stay hungry for another fight? Because someone now is going to come say, "Or oh, all right, Chad, let's do it." Like, how do you yeah, stay I'm, focused? I'm, I'm, I'm focused. Just, I mean, it's just different right now for me. Like, I mean, I'm 29. I feel like I'm just maturing. I'm getting older. I'm learning the game. Uh, the, I mean, you feel your strongest right now. Yeah, I'm at my strongest. Yeah, you know, strongest um, shout out to my um my new trainer I just employed, John Scully, Iceman. He's yeah, from Hartford. Yeah, you know, Hartford. So, a lot of people, a lot of people that know, like, you gotta know the work I put in for this fight, man. I put in the work. I did what I had to do. I I, I left my family here for eight weeks, and I did what I had to do. And uh, I just that night, that night was supposed to be my night. I just didn't get to show it. Do you but, feel ripped off about the whole thing? I feel ripped off just like the fans feel ripped off. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I didn't get to do what I came there to do. What I, I came there to do was to show. You. With the show yeah, you seem disappointed to be the guy who got the win. Got the you win, seem like very disappointed by win? it. Because I mean, I won. I won. Don't get me wrong. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't take any punishment. I didn't get hurt. I mean, that's a blessing. I came out unscathed, but it was only two rounds. But at the end of the day, I went in there to fight. I mean, mm. You didn't. You didn't hit him with that combination you had planned. You didn't hit him with that left nah, or right. I mean, you had I mean, no. I caught ready. Him, I caught him. I caught him with a couple of shots that he felt. And I know he felt them, and he was. He was just. Chad Dawson, family man. How does it feel when you're in the ring fighting and you and your kids are watching? Oh, jeez, I couldn't. Oh, man. I'm going to give a shout out to my wife and my kids. I'm How does your wife want you? I couldn't do it. She's used to it. She, no, it's, it's, it's different when you, when you know you, when I got a wife that believes in me. Mm -hmm. she believes well, it's not. It's she not that. It's just that I, 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 you know, I would, I would obviously believe in you too, but it's just hard to watch. No, like, but it's, it's, it's deeper than that with me and my wife. I mean, it's, it's. She knows I got the talent. She knows I. I she knows. She knows. She knows you're not she gonna know get I hurt. Trained. She knows I worked hard. She mm -hmm. hard to do what I do. She knows me. She know I'm. I'm not the type of fighter. Who's gonna, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a. I don't like to get hit. I don't want to get hit. I want to lead this game with my brain. I want to be able to talk to play with my grandkids. I don't want to be. You know, I mean, slurring my mm -hmm. speech and not be able to communicate with people like I want to. Like I don't want that. I don't. That's that's the lead. Really that's the, yeah. good. I, mean, I good. think people get mixed. Like they get all mixed up. But boxing is not about. Being beat up, man. People, I know people want to see exciting fights. See people, they want to see blood. They want to see people get their nose, their jaw broke. But <laughs> Jeez, no, not me, no. Yeah, not me. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, I do it. I mean, hit and don't be hit. That's that's the name. That's it, right? You gotta be smart. You know, boxing not like that. All right. Any, any last shout outs you want to give to anybody? Yeah, shout out to all my people in New Haven who supported me on Saturday night. You know, shout out to my man G Man, Scott F, Wood. My whole family, my wife, my kids, and uh, how old are the kids? Uh, eight, four. Well, he'll be five in a couple in a couple of weeks. Uh, eight, five, uh, two two months, and uh, three. Jeez, you still making them babies, baby. You still doing it? Well, you know, yeah. I was thinking <laughs> you were gone for eight weeks, so you. Oh, boys, so. <laughs> Shout out to your boys that can swim. Make the boys. But yeah. for eight weeks, you can't. Do you, when you're gone from your wife, she doesn't come and visit. You don't have sex for eight weeks. Like eight you. Weeks. Eight do. weeks. Hey, that's the sacrifice you gotta make. I mean, that's a sacrifice. But no wonder more. you were mad. I got at no more right. questions in this interview no, right now. No wonder you were mad. Got no more questions. A lot of good stuff to I wouldn't want to be in that ring with you either, man. I want to kill that man now. You might need to pay them jeans I'm inventing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Chad. That's a, that's a lot of sacrifice, yeah, man. I mean, and shout out to your wifey, it, too. Shout out to wifey. It. it was worth it. Yeah. I can't wait to the next fight, and I can't wait this controversy gets over. Hang around for a little. We got to take in some things. We're going to have people call in and talk to you. Right, people are going to say things, you know. I want to hear what people have to say to you. you want yeah, I want to hear what people have to say, too, man. I mean. All right. Okay, cool. Chad Phone lines Dawson. are open, you know, 860-674-9307.